Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. I am working on a memory decks card here. I started it um, and then I thought I would turn on the camera and you guys could craft along with me. I haven't done that in a while. So I wanted to use um, some of the things that I had pre-made before Valentine's Day and one of them was this memory decks heart. It does have Valentine's sequins in it, but um, they do match the collection I'm using and I am working on an Alice in Wonderland um, little swap right now. I'm using this Echo Park paper pad. And like I said, the, the colors match and um, I you're not gonna be able to see a lot of the sequins when I'm done anyway, um, which I wouldn't worry about too much. There are a few X's and O's in there and a, um, one or two that say like love and so cute, like little candy hearts. Um, but uh, it wasn't very sturdy, so I ended up doing two pieces of like a chipboard, not really a chipboard, but a, a thicker paper, and then I finished it off with a piece from the collection back here, and I just added my stamp. So this is what we're working with so far. Um, my acetate is a little dirty, but I'm going to be covering that up. Okay, so I did take one of the ephemera pieces. I think I'm gonna do something like that over there. I've got this little heart rosette that was gifted to me, and I think that's gonna go there. Um, I was going to do, I wanted to use this Queen of Hearts, the King of Hearts, and then the um, Knave or the Jack over here um, somehow. So, um, I don't know, let me, let me get these guys popped up and then I can kind of play with them. So I know I want to do a um, popped up foam back on them. And I just, I'm using this stuff from Dollar Tree. I really am loving this. This is the foam tape that you get in the hardware department or the hardware aisle. I guess it's not really a department. Um, but I think one on the back of each one, maybe. I might do two depending if I need it there. But, um, so the queen is facing this way and I want her pointing at Alice. So I could do, you know, something like her up here and then the king standing disapprovingly over here. I could pop him up twice and then the jack maybe down here something like that. Although he looks like he needs roses to paint. I don't know if I have a rose, but I think we'll be okay. Let's try something like this. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is glue her down and I think I'm going to use my hot glue gun for that. And I think I'm gonna make her flat. And then I'm gonna go back and add um, some ribbon through the hole there. So make sure that that's popped all the way up so I can thread it through really well. Okay, and then the queen, oops, I don't want this. Looked like it was sinking in there a little bit. All right, let's do this down here for some dimension. And I need this heart rosette die. I don't have that and it's so cute. So I'm gonna put that down here. And then just turn, I'm debating if the queen needs one, one piece of foam tape or two. I think we're good with one. So we'll go a little bit on the foam tape there and I'm gonna just have her pointing to Alice and then the king is for sure gonna need two so all I do is take off the backing and then I stick the sticky side to the sticky side here and it actually um, adheres really well so now he's double layered a little papa hot glue there and I'll have him just kind of disapproving over here okay I like that so far and he's standing on top of the rosette so that works and I think this little guy is gonna be over here oops I've got some some strings 
think he's going to be over here and he's popped up up here. I need to pop his legs up, I think double. So let me, I use these little scissors from Dollar Tree to cut my um, foam tape. That way if adhesive gets on it, I can just replace it very um, inexpensively. All right, now let's see if that is gonna be enough or if he needs one more. He needs one more for stability. Okay, so I've got three and one. And I think I'm going to um, put hot glue on both pieces. I'm gonna put him down there. That's perfect. Okay, I love the dimension that's going on here. So you can see, you know, the king, the queen, him popped up there. Okay, so let's do some word strips or something here. Um, I actually have a lot of the sticker sheet left, so let's look there first. So I do like this one right off the bat that says Wonderland. Sorry. So I have this one or I have this one here that says Wonderland. But I would like something behind it because there's a lot of red. I'd like to pull in that blue somehow. I have this I could cut into like a banner flag and then I could do something like that. I like that. Okay, so this is just this little little thing here. I just have little scraps from the collection in there and I just keep it on my desk. Uh, it is really handy just to grab out of. Um, let's do... I need to make sure this is straight. It doesn't look straight because I think the, um, no, it's not straight. I was gonna say, I thought the lines were off. Like I thought these were kind of wonky and not um, straight lines, but they must be straight lines. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. And then clean this up just a little bit. into a banner. And I think I'm just going to quick go sew around this so I will be right back. Okay, so I didn't do it too, too much. I just did a little zigzag across the top and I had pink thread in my machine and I didn't feel like changing it out for the gold. So I think I'm going to, I mean, it's fine. It matches. So I'm going to put that there do this kind of wonky. I don't think I need any pop dots, but let's take a look at how this looks. Oops. Put that there. It's just the red wants to stick to me. Oh my gosh, can't get rid of it. Okay. Just wanted to see how this adheres down if I need to do more. So right now it's just stuck to the um, to the tool that's on there and I just needed to see if I wanted it stuck down further, like the tool to the heart. I think we're okay. I think I'm gonna do this kind of sideways like that. And I think I will pop it up. Let's do, let's do one of these cut in half um, the long way. Let's go this way. And let's do this and this. And I'm going to add 
some hot glue. Loving how that looks. All right, again, with the dimension, I just love how layered it is. Okay, so now let's see if we need to add any other little fun flat backs or anything. Oh, there's a gold key on here that's kind of cute. There's a lot of little butterflies, but they're all in um, like in a circle surrounded by white. I don't know if I want to bring that in. So banner pieces. All right, so I don't think any of these. Let's take a look at my like jemmies and pop dots that I've got here. Sorry, my tray is in the way. Now what I have here to match. This is from the um Feeling Frosty collection. So the pink kind of goes, that blue doesn't really go. Uh, this is from Happy Hearts. Let me get, let me get another one out. All right, so I grabbed my, oops, my glue gun is tippy. I don't think I need that anymore. So this is just where I have my enamel dots. And I don't know if I have a blue that matches that. I have a lot of aquas. Ooh, 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 maybe these. Oh my gosh, these are perfect. I wonder if this is from this collection. This might have been an Echo Park um, add-on that I got from Peachy Cheap, but ooh, perfect. Oh my goodness, so excited. Okay, so we're gonna do some jemmies over here with Alice on her little table. And I'll do that, a little three, little uh, triangle there of them. I think I'll do down here, the tiny little dark blue and a tiny little pink, again in a little three cluster. And then I think we're good with those two clusters. Put these back. And then I think I'm going to choose the thread for the tag. And then I think we're, we're done. This comes together so simple sometimes, doesn't it? And then sometimes you just struggle. Um, so ribbon. I'm going to pull out my little stash of ribbon that I'm working with right now. Um, so I've got this one in the red. This is kind of cute. The red might be cute, like the red with the hearts in it for Alice. Um, she is the queen of hearts. So I just want to hold this up because that red is a lot brighter. Um, I wonder if I could tone it down with a little pink mixed with it. I'll cut a little bit of each of these off and see. Um, oh, I did have some of that blue also. All right, let me see if I can do... I had this blue left over from a little um, beaded tassel that I did. Okay, so let me see if I can just cluster these and make a little something here. like this. And then I could staple it on. Let me see. I'm trying to think if I want to weave it through or if I want to staple it. So if I staple it, I can use all three. If I'm gonna weave it through, then I'm just gonna be able to use one. I think I need all three. That blue is just too 
match you with the blue right on top there. Um, I gotta find my stapler. I have this little tiny attacher that I got at um, Joanne by the checkout, and it is it works pretty good. Sometimes it jams up on me, but um, for like two fifty for what I paid for it, it was it totally is fine. Okay, so I'm gonna stagger those a little bit. Put that here. And then I think I will go in with a X. Yep, that's not gonna work. All right, take two. Let's do, what if I did this instead? I've got a red rose paper clip. What if I did that? So like that is maybe the rose that he's painting, like paint the roses red. And then what if I, actually I could just leave it like that. That actually looks really cute instead of putting the, I don't know, what do you guys think? I think I'm just gonna leave it like that actually. I was gonna tie something to it, but I don't think that it needs it. I think it's good just like that. So there's the back and there's the front. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it done. What do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for crafting along with me. I hope you're having a great week and I will see you in my next video. Bye.